WCRN Digital Talk Radio right here. Hip Hop Talk Radio at you. How's that look, guys? Let me see here. Let's I'm see. I'm looking in real time. You know. Indeed. You look marvelous, Sister Cheryl. Is that Ridge. camera there now? Because we yes, want to make see. it right. You are, Is you, it okay? You right on right Sounds now. good. Sounds good. You up. all in, sister. <laughs> hey, it's all about keeping it real. That's the only thing I know how to do. And we're back here. Hip Hop Talk Radio. CRN Digital Talk Radio. That's CRNTalk.com. Again, as a parent who has lost a child, as a person who has been incarcerated inside those walls, inside... Uh, for four years and five months, this book hits me in the heart. Uh, the, the senselessness around uh, the deaths of so many people uh, that have, have started in this in this in this industry called uh, this culture called hip hop. And I say to you all that I am not hip hop. God knows, I need all the help that I can get. Understanding you, young people, and I'm here because I want to know because I've been through it. I've been through my fair share in this world, in this life. So, Asher, come on in. And, and Sister Asia, let's talk about this book. And uh, you guys, you're out there. Reach out to us because we want to hear your voice. Indeed. Let's see. Here goes my bifocals, we guys. We already got there a call. Go. <laughs> let's Shep. see. We have Shep it's from Denver. Yeah, my brother, come on in and talk to us. Please. Welcome, welcome. Can you hear us, Shep? Are you there? I can hear you. I'm a little old lady in Denver, Colorado. Oh, wow. Welcome. Is this wow. And they call me the hip-hop mom because I, I, I tend to roll through and and try to help them keep from getting sick and stuff like that. Oh, I love it. I love um, it. I'm so happy to hear you. Sister, <laughs> uh, Sister Shep, talk to us a little bit about what you're doing there in Denver. Well, um, I don't know if that's specific to me or if, if it's just Denver in general, but Denver loves hip-hop, and uh, and a lot of hip-hop um, voices love to come through Denver, so we get it good here. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but I stay in touch on the Tupac question in, in a number of different ways. I, I talk frequently with uh, Shock G. I see. Who, uh, who was close with him when he was younger. Yes. Shout but, um, out. Shout here's out to my, shout. Here's my, first of all, you keep talking about the book, but you might want to be very careful to show us the book. And There you go. Ah, thank you. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah, show us the book and be mm. sure and let us write down the information on the book. Most definitely. Thank you, and, sister. Um, <clears throat> Uh, my question, though, is what what you think about the death of Johnny J? Mm. Do, do you guys wow. believe that it was a suicide? Mm. Or do you know what I'm talking about? We know exactly what you're talking about, Sister Shep. Yes, we do. We were here in Los Angeles when that tragedy happened. No doubt about it. What do we think about it? Uh, tragedy. I said the word most definitely. That's what I think about it. Asher, Sister Asia, chime in on that. I mean, I think it's a tragedy. I can't really speak upon it because I don't know that much information. But um, there's a lot of situations in the death of Tupac and Biggie and so many others. Big L, rest in peace. Um, you know, there's so many other artists. Well, that yeah, are, and Stretch. I mean... Yeah. I mean, there's so many, Shep, that I really can't comment. The only one that really knows is the man upstairs who sees everything. Mm. And, um, I mean, much respect to the parents of those loved ones that are no longer here. But I really don't have a comment on that because there's so many things I could say, but then I'm not knowing because I wasn't there. And he say, she say. I understand. I, right. I you know. Yeah, so the question is, you know, what do we think about uh, Johnny J's? Uh, I just want to say that that, that that probably is um, should be a, a whole other subject in the show in <laughs> of itself. I, I, I want to say what's up to um, uh, you, uh, Miss Shep, the hip-hop mom. I actually seen you on the website <laughs> earlier today, so we're really happy to have you um, listening and a part of our community. You know, we are a movement. 
of uh, all kinds of people, artists, activists, educators, um, mm. you know, hip hop fans, and uh, shout out to Layla Steinberg. Shout no out to Layla. <coughs> shout out, Indeed. you know, absolutely. We we um. Well, you know what? I'm a little I'm a little bit far for the LAPD to touch. I <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say what I think. I feel you. If you okay. don't mind. Yeah. Well, your thoughts, your voice, give me a speech, ma. I don't think that a person who owned 50% of Tupac's bangers would have committed suicide over a DUI. I understand. And that brings us back. That's what I'm saying. To murder rap. It brings us back to the book, my sister. Sister Shep, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you. How easy is it for LAPD to put the finger on somebody and slip them a Mickey and stop their car and then have them accidentally fall off the third floor yeah. landing. Well, my sister, again, we're talking about the senselessness that has developed uh, over these last years that's centered around this culture called hip hop. And the murder rap book is going to be so many people that have not read it. This is going to give the murder rap book so much exposure. We say to you, Sister Shep, read it we may have to come back to this topic on hip-hop talk okay, radio definitely and you know what um Shep, there's actually a uh, group dedicated to the memory of johnny J at truthabouttupac.com so if you scroll to the bottom of the page and click view groups you can find the johnny J um group maybe th that would be a good oh, discussion we could you. get started and there's so many people that say you know what does that have to do let the dead rest and and no 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 not at all they're angels I believe they are all angels. They lose their lives in and this and so senselessly. No doubt. So sure. we keep them. We keep them alive uh, by keeping them in our memory. Most no definitely. Shouts out the tantrum. Just com ah, commenting tantrum. in. So, so much fear involved, and you know, I think that's why Shep, you're commendable for um, you know out there in the Rockies. Just oh, yeah, stay in no your doubt. mind. Um, I think we're about to go to a break, and we should actually okay. have Mr. Kading uh, mm -hmm. will be calling in. And mm -hmm. I also just got um, word that uh, Kathy Scott, the author of The Killing of uh, Tupac Shakur, she is actually going to be online. She wants to talk a little about the case. Nice. Kathy no, Scott, she, we appreciate you. No for do, for those it. that have been you know, following the investigation going back, like her book was the first hmm. book that came out that actually went in-depth into... Um, the investigations and then um, there was a couple there's a whole series a lineage of different people that have been talking about it and now mm -hmm. murder rap is the latest development and uh, it is a lot of controversy that's been swelling up from it and wow. uh, a lot of different thoughts and feelings and opinions so we're going to get into that I make sure you call that. in you guys okay well i'm gonna let you guys well we thank along, you but thank you so much thank and you, you guys uh, lots of peace and love and again amazon.com on that oh, book Jesus. murder rap and we're so happy you called 888 Indeed. i'm sorry 800 yes. 336 2225 crn digital talk radio hip-hop talk radio and you guys we want your voices and my heart again is heavy heavy that we have to discuss such a topic of these murders and we just hope that somewhere along the line this music is so many youngsters out there that's willing to spit the words that will empower so we want that we don't have to die so senselessly crn digital talk clear healthy beautiful